Hold on. How's this for a segue? So now uh, we got Magnum Force, and it's the gun. So it, and the thing, it, it's, starting to, it's, it's got the the, uh, the cello going and bland, the, the kind of cool jazz music. But you just see that, and it looks like it's still, and then you kind of see a little little waver, and you go, mm -hmm. that's Clint holding a gun for yeah. the whole opening credits. And then at the end, oh, sorry, it's like, then at the end, the gun turns to you, or first he takes the safety off, and it turns to the camera. This is a 57 Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> And that's the start of that movie. So yeah. great. That honestly, I, I'd forgotten about that beginning and I loved it. Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and it could blow your head clean off. Do you feel lucky? So quickly, I was like, oh, I can't wait for this ride. Yeah, it, we're was, gonna it was a badass James Bond opening, like, yeah. like Clint Eastwood style, like, okay, here we go. Ooh. And you get all the credits in the front of the movie. Smart. I don't know, with the red background and you're just looking at that hand cannon, you're like, yep, this is going to be was, It was great. bold. You yeah. know, it's not Clint's hand, though. That's the funny thing. I mean, uh, that they, wouldn't be, right? He's not going to sit there for that. Right. That's why I thought. But they said his hand was too small. Like, he was willing to do it, but it looked too small, I guess, holding the gun. I, By the way, I fired a few. You guys probably have, too. It almost took my arm off. I've like, it's the most... <laughs> I've fired a 357 before, and that almost took my arm off. It was a boom, big jump. But Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> it's really inappropriate in the field for that kind of reason. It's just too, too much to handle. Uh, but... So Magnum Force, obviously written by my old boss, John Milius, and supposedly directed by Ted Post. There's a rumor going around and has been going around for decades that Buddy Van Horn, Clint Eastwood's longtime stunt captain, who was actually his brother in the original High Plains Drifter script, but turned out to be the previous marshal. That's Buddy Van Horn playing that role. Some people say he and Eastwood directed it. Milius does think Ted Post actually directed most of the movie. And I have to say that at least part of that feels right, because when you compare it to the gauntlet, which is later, the gauntlet feels a little bit clunky in the edit sometimes to me. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but Magnum Force, which was 70, what, four, three? Uh, three, 73. 73. Super tight when I was watching it. Yeah. That, there, yeah. For me, and look, there's definitely a different directing perspective on Magnum Force than, than the gauntlet. Yeah. And I and I you know, I would be hard to press to believe that the same person did both those movies. Yeah, me too. They were I mean they were different directors. Is that what you're saying, Ash? Yeah, but he's saying there's a theory that that 
Eastwood had a hand in, in his stunt director, uh, stunt coordinator in the in. Magnum. Yeah, there's been talk of it for a long time, and maybe they obviously they ran. It was a Mal Paso production, so obviously he ran it. But I feel like Ted Post probably gets sort of sniped from the credit on it because it feels like a much more. The movie feels pretty tight. Your road to redemption is paved with tombstones. No quarter, kill all masters. Go to no quarter, kill all masters.com. Rated R.